flatten that brush and get a little blending going on. So you get the shades. So look, it shades from the very light all, and it just shades up. There's actually a line that joins those, so we want to make sure we get that. Okay. And then we've got some of the whiskers going on here. You know, the advantage is this just smells really good, too, while you're, hmm. <laughs> while you're doing it. <laughs> yum, yum. Okay, so we've got some really dark spots up here. That come out. And then come down. And this is his cheek right here. This part underneath that's really dark. You got a little bit of play time, but not as much as you would have with some other types. I don't know if shortening gives you more play time or not. You can't use oil though. If you want to use vegetable oil, that doesn't work, just in case anyone's thinking about that. That's a different kind of painting. It doesn't set up. Okay. I have another spot over here that's kind of dark. Just through here. Flatten that brush and blend that. Got a, kind of a hard line there. There we go. And then we want to continue with some of these lines that are coming out, some of the main lines. You can get some really complex cocoa paintings going on and they could, excuse me, they can literally take hours to do, you know, like two and a half, three hours. The nice thing is that you can step away and then come back. Let me get that main even. Okay, I think I've got all the dark areas that need to be done. Let me see. Let me check his cheeks. Step back. It always helps, you know. Take a step back and look, you know, because you're, you're this close to it and you really need to step back and see if you're, are you getting your shading? Are you getting, you know, what needs to go on here? When I was doing it, uh, mine looked the best when you stood way back. <laughs> like 50 feet. Yeah, like the next state. <laughs> Not. Okay, so it looks like we're ready for our last, our last, um, our last shade, the darkest shade.